a lot of these things like your lasso tool so say tam is like um i just want to take you know a certain part of an image so lasso tool allows you to draw it out and i can fill this so um let me see something i'm on the wrong layer that's why make sure you have your layer selected here we go so if i say like let's go ahead and fill this and if you've watched you know i don't know Tim, if you saw the fortnite video this is one of the ways that i did it um we'll okay. fill it with the foreground color you know, so now you've got this like shade, you know, whatever, like in front, maybe, um, see that it's kind of like slicing, you know, okay. and cricket, but say you had, um, I'm trying to think when I use that, like if I have an image and it has like a little background of something, I may need to get in there with my lasso tool to take out the background and delete it. And so this, I can just delete. Okay. okay. You see that? Like I just deleted it. And always guys, you'll notice when you select something, it's very hard to get away from it. You're like, why won't it go away? Hit <laughs> command D as in dog or control D and it will deselect. Oh. Because you can't move on unless can you hit command D for me, please? Okay. You can't see, that, that's the thing that I run into with like the magic wand. Yes. I'm like Yes. I've done what I need to do. Can yes. you do? Like, yes. you know, any, any so many people. Away. Yeah, all yes. the time. You're like, get out of my way. I want to move on to my next step. And then you're just like, close Photoshop, come back in. No, you don't have to do that. You know, like, Command D yeah. or Control D will get you out of that. So I'm just going to go ahead and step backwards. And if you can control Command D for me again, please. Okay. And then it's gone. See, okay. and so um, as Tam was saying with the magic wand tool or her eraser tool. So we love eraser tools, right, Tam? I don't know about you, but I love the eraser I features. I just used it last night for the first time. Bomb, you know? Yeah. So um, eraser tools, select tools, whatever, my best friend, um, because I can get rid of things. I can change things. Um, so like, you know, I don't know if you watched the live that I did in the group on the pillow, but when I use the select tool, you know, it just kind of, grabs what you're what you need you know photoshop is very smart that way so say i do magic eraser tool and um i want to take out this one let me make sure i select the right layer though that would help right y'all always so here's my layer selected always select the right layer and i go and i'm like magic eraser tool do your work mm -hmm. see that Okay. And it takes out what I need. But if I say I need to, you know, grab this, this is, I'm sorry, this is your wand. This is your magic wand right here. I was on um, the eraser. Your magic wand, and you go, and you're like, you guys see, let me zoom in a little bit for you. Can you hit 100 for me, please? Mm hmm Ooh. If you got, nope, that's exactly what I needed. Okay. So if you know, you see the selection, this is basically telling you that Photoshop has selected something. Okay. Um, so yeah, so you're like, all right, all right. Um, let me do a hundred percent zoom. Okay. So you're like, cool. Now I see that, but you're like, how do I say you wanted to change this? Cause you're like, I don't really like how this is looking. I want to change it to be, um, you know, all red, just this part or the parts that I erased. I want them to be red. And um, what you can do is you can like right click if it wants to act right for me. And oh, I know why I don't have the layer selected. Okay, cool. You can right click and you guys can fill this with different colors. You can make a layer, a duplicate layer of this. Um, so a variety of options to do. And then Tam, can you hit control D for me? Cause I can't, um, here we go. So if I right click, if my computer right click for me, Tam, I'll let you go ahead and drive. And um, like you could do a variety of things, you know, you can 
Let's see, select it and mask it. And so this takes you into like a whole different arena, guys. Like we'll, Tam and I would do a video on select and mask. It's freaking amazing. Um, but go ahead and hit cancel for me, Tam. Uh, where do I cancel? On the right down bottom. Oh. Okay. Um, can you show me this layer? Okay, it is rasterized. I'm wondering why it won't let me feel, but that's okay. Um, say you want to like cut it out, right? Mm -hmm. so now if you had like a picture of your um cousins and maybe they had like i don't know what would be something like something back here by his head you could do your lasso tool or you could just select it with your magic wand mm -hmm. right click and cut it out like i just did and then that whole thing is gone so a few different ways that you can use it. But one of the things, um, can you just hit Control Alt Z a few times for me so we can get your image back to how it was? We were looking at this at 25%, right? Mm -hmm. And at 25%, it looks amazing. Right. But when we go to look at it at 100%, and you guys will notice this too, you're like, oh my gosh, so many deep, like people might be missing eyes. You're right. Like, you didn't mean to do that. It's just that, um, you don't always have the knowledge of making something or, um, you know, masking it. So right. you know, why don't you go ahead and bring in the picture of these guys onto this? Show them how you would bring in a picture. File, um, place embedded, and then... Uh, let me see. She's just going to where she saved them. Here it is. Okay, great. All right. So, awesome picture. Okay. Go ahead and hit enter. On. Anytime you want to play something, guys, you see how that X is on there? She cannot do anything in Photoshop until she hits enter. Oh, I've only just placed it, so that's good to know. Yeah, always hit anytime you move something, and it Photoshop will not go forward until you hit enter, so you commit to the action you just took. Um, your opacity is at 100%. See how these are now? This is looking good, right? Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do, Tam, is very cool. And we're going to cross my fingers that because I, I, sometimes my mind goes and when I do this is we're going to select and mask these guys. So grab your magic wand. Okay. And um, up top, you see select subject. Here? Um, no, a little below. Well, you can go to select, okay, so all the time, three different ways. Select subject is there, and it's also in the toolbar um, to the right. Oh, right here, okay. Yeah. I see uh -huh. So go ahead and click that button. It's just a button, guys. You're just going to click it. Shut Whoa. your mouth. I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was know how long I was working on that picture. Look at that. And you wow. probably were in there like, let me. Yeah, I'm all like, me. erase stuff. <laughs> oh my so God. So now what I like to do from here is you can do a mask, but just right click it. Okay. Right click like within the, um, the dashes. Yeah, right click. Mm -hmm. And then do layer via copy. Layer via cut is not um, an option because we haven't rasterized this. And go ahead and um, grab your move tool. Move those guys. Oh, wow. That is great. And, that is absolutely amazing. And then you can delete that or you can hide that layer. Okay. So once, yep, there you go. That's amazing. <laughs> That is absolutely amazing. And so let's go back. Let's go um, control alt, um, command shift Z again. Go back to um, when it was selected. Just keep undoing a multiple undo. Okay, so command shift Z. Okay. Okay, keep going till you get those, till it goes back to like one layer with the lines. Um, keep going. There you go. Okay. So one thing you'll notice, Tam, when you do this, you see their shoes have a white sole. 
Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's a little difficult for Photoshop always to pick up every detail. So okay. if you're missing something, like when I dragged them out, I could tell, okay, you see, we still had this gray here. The bottom right. of the shoe is missing. What you'll want to do is you want to zoom in at 100%. Okay. And what I like to do is grab my, go back to having your tool selected. Okay. And, um, or you could even select, um, quick selection tool. Yeah, I prefer quick selection tool for this. Okay. Um, you want to, this is add, this is subtract. So say you want his little zipper in it, but you got too much gray. And it's a little easier if I had like a um, tablet or if I were using a mouse. I'm mm -hmm. using a trackpad guy, so I'm not okay. always on point with it. Like, I really don't care about this zipper. You know, right. I don't need that. Mm -hmm. um, but I do need this little bit of his pan right here. See how it's gray and it's gray? So it's mixing in. So Photoshop is a little confused on what part it should keep and what part it should let go. I can also make this smaller. My tool so I can get into it better. Mm, okay. And then let me subtract this. So it's like I said, it's a little difficult for me, y'all, because I'm on um, my laptop with the trackpad. And anything like this, you see how those are like separate? Just mm -hmm. add them in. Just kind of brush over it. So Photoshop will add it. Um, okay. I'm just going to delete out that little bit. Yeah, perfect. See? And I'm going to come down. Probably, I mean, I kind of want to add this in just because to me it looks like he'll be missing some of his leg. Yeah. And um, I'm going to come down. I definitely want to add in his sole. Okay. Of his shoe. And I want to add in, you know, add in the details you need. And if you're noticing that Photoshop is taking it away instead of adding it in, just come back up here and select the right option. Um, okay. You can also do this with shortcuts, guys. I'm not a big shortcut person, but if you do learn the shortcuts, please do utilize them if that's the way you think, you know. Um, and I'm just going to um, add from here down because I don't want this. Like if I keep this in, if I keep this in, you know, that's going to cut out that mm -hmm. part. So I don't want this. Like I want, I don't want anything between his legs. And you don't always have to do this deep. Like if he's standing behind something, like how he's going to be behind the 16, you probably don't even care about this part, you know, because mm -hmm. his legs aren't going to be showing. But if you wanted to do something where it's like a full body image of him, you don't need this gray in the middle. You know, because that's going to mess you up. And he's going to see like, what's that gray between your legs? You know, right. so, um, yeah, so this is how you would do that, Tam. And um, it's it's just amazing. You know, it's so much easier. It it does just it's just crazy. It's just crazy. It's just crazy. That's all I can say. Um, because, Honestly, and this is this is the exact reason why I knew that I still needed help, because <laughs> uh, there's things that I will probably not learn on my own like that stuff I learned by just like playing around in it yes. just to see what I could do and I could put something together but you know this is more on the lines of what I wanted to do like I wanted to yeah. be able to do something that was professional quality and although my cricket is great you know there's still it's not photoshop you know right. and be so far you can go with with that so yeah this is amazing this is yeah. like and this is a really cool like new feature that they came out with this year um with the new creative cloud update and i just like was floored because before you could just hit a button you have to do like select a mask which you can still do and select a mask is great but um select subject i'm just like yeah yes, you know that is um, amazing yeah and you got, you know, you just kind of get in there with the detail on these guys and 
or you know do as much as you need as little as you need i'm not going to go into the gray part there with him because he's going to be hiding behind yes. this and um you know you can select a mask it and select you can come back in here into the select a mask panel and do that okay and but what i'm going to do is i'm going to cancel i'm just going to do it the quick way that i do it right click and layer via copy because it's only going to take what you have selected and i'm just okay. i just i just hide this boom there's my guys you know yeah. still some of their shoes missing because i didn't get in there really really good but um now i can bring these guys over here and say that tamra knows she wants them to be six inches high whatever mm -hmm. um you go back to your window well here's your properties panel right now they're five inches let's actually make them two inches see that that is amazing or tam you can always just go you know like that mm -hmm. but i i mean now you got your guys here let's look at these guys at 100 percent versus the other guys so go ahead and yeah, put this and if you if uh -huh. you look i was trying to like there was a piece that i couldn't get off yeah and so there's like a little black mark right there to, like yes 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 i noticed that uh-huh yeah. so um go ahead and let's see if we can see that let me talk about this right here right right yeah right there on the right there yep yep did this she's talking about that right there did you add those to the guys or did you add those to the 16. Girl, listen. Okay, I, okay, so yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> I was just trying to cover it up. Yeah, and that's how I found. That is how I found how you like if you want to match the color, you mm -hmm. can you can pick up that little dropper. Yep. And because at first it was like off black, and I'm like, oh god, it's not I the same color. Yes, okay. yes. And that's one thing I wish um, Cricut had was an eyedropper tool. Yes, I really but, was seeing that. Yeah. Um, Silhouette has it, Adobe has it, you know, Publisher has it. I'm like, why y'all don't have an eyedropper tool? But yeah, yeah. So now we don't have to worry about that because our guys are in there. And what Tam was saying, basically, like she was just kind of probably um, brushing. And yeah. She, she couldn't figure out what color to use. So she found her eyedropper tool or her color picker tool, which is this tool. She selected, um, she opened it up. You'll see it change. She went and hit that black. Your foreground color will change. See how it's changing? So this is an awesome thing. You guys know if you watch my videos, I like to incorporate the same colors throughout something. You can right. make watches like Tam has over here, or you could just keep picking it up from your image, from your um, document. So I just went ahead and I dropped these guys in here. And probably what Tam did was she grabbed her paintbrush or um, mm -hmm. some kind of tool and just kind of paint it. Exactly. That's yep. exactly what I did. 